Yeshaya is coming real soon, so it's time to get serious. We've built up every nation in this world. I know preparing for the wilderness isn't easy. You say you're tired of other nations ruling over you? Well, get up and do something for yourself. Prepare for what's about to happen to you. Hebrewism.com It's time to build our nation, so what are you waiting for? Hebrewism. It's our way of life. Shalom, Israel. This is Sister Kana. And first and foremost, I have to give all glory and praise to Ahaya, Asher Ahaya, Bahashem Yishaya, Wak, Wadash, Wak. Okay. Okay, so I have here um, a tent. It's a shower tent so that you can be able to take a shower. Like when you're in the, you know, wilderness. So I just wanted to give you guys some idea of um, what it is and what's this like. So I told you, I explained on my Hebrewism channel that I will start like uploading and putting um, different things that I feel that you will need in the wilderness. So I think this is perfect and it's not a lot of money. It's not expensive. So uh, I'm going to show you. Let me just, it's, it's very, it's kind of tall. So let me just give you the gist of it. Okay, so you can see it. Okay, and uh, all the way to the top. Okay, so I want to show you the, you know, the inside. I'm going to put some more information in this video so you can see, but it exists in these books. And it's just enough for you to be able to fit in like, take a shower. Okay. Okay, so it has these sturdy poles. I want you to see this pole on, it's four of them that you assemble and that you put together and it kind of holds the tent together. And also, at the end, it has the stakes that you can put into the ground. And let me show you. These stakes that you can put into the ground and um, it makes it extra sturdy, okay? So, let me take a minute and I'm going to show you the inside. It's kind of dark inside, but I don't know if you can see so great. But the thing that I find that it did not come with the bag for the shower. So, it had one advertisement that it had the um, a bag with it, but it didn't come with the bag. So, which is okay because I'm going to show you something else. But give me a minute and let me show you inside. Okay, so this is inside the tent, and uh, it has this uh, bag inside. I don't know if this will hold the water with the spout. They have this thing at, on the top. I don't know if you can see this stuff. It's a little dark. That you can um, probably hold it, put the shower hook up there and hold it. So I'm going to really go online and see. And they have some other things, pouches for soap. Okay? And this side has pouch of soap. So it's relatively a decent size that you can fit in there, just like to take a shower or whatever. And also, brothers and sisters, remember I showed you um, the first video, it had the um, that toilet. That actually can fit inside. You know, and you can, you know, you can get that wet. So when you take a shower, you could just have the sink and toilet in there and it just, you know, it gets wet because there, a lot of the apartments when I had when I was in Israel and even in Jordan they have small bathrooms with, with the toilet and the shower is inside and it just wets up the whole you know room because it's porcelain it doesn't really matter but so I wanted to give you ideas because I get a lot of questions like how we're gonna do this how we're gonna do that you know so it's not so far fetched it's like a higher prepared a place that we can. Um, you know, have everything we need. You know, you, if you just bring it with you, whatever you feel that you need, it's important now to bring with you. This was not expensive at all. I think it was a little less under of a hundred dollars. But the thing is, customs is so expensive in Jordan that when you order, it's going to cost you like almost double. So it may have cost me like two hundred and something just to get this. But if you get it from America. It's not that expensive. You can bring it with you on the um, on the plane. You can box it, and I'll show you the box that it comes with. 
But also, I wanted to show you this is the toilet. Remember, I showed you the bags. This is the toilet. Um, once it's in the bag, and it's very easy to maneuver, and you know, it's like having luggage. So, if you was to get um, this in America, you really don't have to worry. You know, just bring it with you, and it's much cheaper. It's like almost double the price for customs. So if you're in America and you know that there's certain things you're going to need, bring it with you, you know, and you can store stuff, you know. But, um, you know, because, and you know, I think it will kind of pan out the same because the customs, even on the airplane, they charge you for baggage. So you end up paying anyway. So it's like you can either order from here or you can bring it with you because either way you're going to pay. You're going to pay on the planes because they're going to charge you extra for anything over one or two bags of luggage. So you end up paying that way or when you come you're going to pay customs, a, a hefty customs fee. But overall guys, these are the kind of things that, you know, it's not, you know, give me one second. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. Okay, so I wanted to show you that this was the box that it came in. So it's very convenient, you know, you know, I like to keep my boxes, even though this is kind of raggedy, but just to be able to store stuff back in if you make a move, you know, it's good to have it. But, um, see, and it wasn't that heavy, it was easy, you know, this stuff is lightweight, it's just a tent. And this also has a carrying bag, which is convenient, so you know, just like a tent bag, it's all fits in here. So this is awesome, brothers and sisters. So it's, it's not too inconvenient that you can have a personal shower. Okay, so I'm going to find out if I can order the shower bag online. And I'll, and I'll put that in as well. Okay? So, and it's affordable. So this is the kind of stuff that, but when you're out in the wilderness, you're going to need something like this to have for your bathroom or when you're going to take a shower, you want it outside of where you're sleeping or maybe even inside. You can even put this inside um, the tent, you know, the tent that I have. You can make it make an area just so that you can have, you know, you know, where you go to the bathroom. So, brothers and sisters, now, there's something else I want to show you. So, this didn't come with a bag. Like, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it up on the the video, what you know, the advertisement, it shows you the shower, but it didn't come with the shower, so I guess I have to order it separately. I thought it came with it, but I also want to show you something else, so give me one second. Okay, it's very sunny out, but I wanted to show you the water, this water, uh, these water bottles. Now, these things, like, uh, 2,000 liters of water it holds. I think it says 2,000 liters. So this is a big thing of water. So you can hook this up, a, a line that goes to the shower, and you can use this in the wilderness. These things. And these are not that expensive. They're between like 70 and 100 JD. And, um, you know, and I actually have two of them, but I only use um, one here. But I will have at least two because you don't want to run out of water. And whenever there's a place to have water, you could just, you know, fill these things up. And, you know, put it on your car or your wagon or donkey or whatever you, you know, choose to have. You know, but at least that there is a way to have some water. And these things are huge. Okay, and this is what they use all throughout Jordan. Like all the houses have these kind of things. It's not like in America where everything is ran through, you know, underground through the city and stuff like that. All the homes have this. So you kind of get used to even having this type of water system. And, you know, they have it where the water trucks will deliver the water. Or if you have a car, you can go, you know, have um, smaller barrels and fill up water and things like that. So. That will not be too much of an option like it was back in the day for our forefathers. So I just wanted to kind of give you this because I never really did a video on this. <clears throat> and I wanted you guys to um, see, you know, the options and so that you'll have an idea like what, how things will be done. So in your mind, you know, it won't be so far-fetched, you know, because... This place is prepared for this type of living. And this is, like, I've been to the surrounding areas, the countries like Egypt, you know, 
uh, Turkey and um, Israel, they're not, it's not set up like this. Like I'm saying, like all the houses, had the water system is like this. It's not like underground where you got to, you know, get water some way. You know, they use barrels and the trucks go to deliver the water. I mean, you know, in certain situations, you know, it'll be different in the times that we're about to come in, but at least you can have an idea of how, you know, what you're working with. Because in America, you would never think <laughs> that this is how, you know, people got their water or they used, you know, these kind of things. Because everything for us is, you know, underground, the oil, the, I mean, yeah, the water, the gas, the electricity, everything. But in, in these countries, it's not like that. Okay? So, praise the Hayyabah Hashemishaya. On my next video, I have some other stuff I will show you. So, this is my second call. and showing you about getting wilderness ready, preparing for the wilderness. Um, I pray you like, share, and subscribe. And so that you can get in the mindset of preparation. No one is talking about preparation, guys. And so, this is so important. You must come out of Babylon and you must prepare for what is about to happen. And it's not that hard. It's not that far-fetched. It's just in America we've been spoiled. We're not taught to <clears throat> take care of ourselves. And for this very reason, so that you would be scared to come out when the Most High started calling you out. They, did, they have did everything to keep us, you know, subservient to them. But guys, there's another way. We can make it. So... You know, like I showed you about growing food, you know, I'm really going hard on starting to plant my things so that I can make sure, you know, you can sustain food, growing food, you know, we have to do that. Grow our own food, make our own clothes, prepare our own way, and not depend on anyone. So I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Bahasim I pray you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave questions, comments. You know, I just really want to open up the information because no one is talking about preparing brothers and sisters. And so that's why it seems so far fetched, but it's not that hard. Praise Ahaya. So um, again, all glory and praise to Ahaya. I pray that you guys are coming out of Babylon. Travel safely and see you soon. And I pray you have, a, tomorrow is the Feast of um, Parem. I, I pray you have a blessed fe Feast of Parem, um, starting Tuesday night, sundown. Tonight at Sunday, we'll start the Feast of Parem and for two days. So, have a blessed one, brothers and sisters, and Shalom. Yeshaya is coming real soon, so it's time to get serious. We've built up every nation in this world. I know preparing for the wilderness isn't easy. You say you're tired of other nations ruling over you? Well, get up and do something for yourself. Prepare for what's about to happen to you. Hebrewism.com It's time to build our nation, so what are you waiting for? Hebrewism. It's our way of life.